Consider the function real to real defined by f of x equal to max of x comma x square minus minimum of x comma x square. That's a beautiful, nice question. Right? So, x and x square and minimum of x and x square. First of all, max and a min. We need to figure out when will x square be more, when will x be more. So, I'm going to compare x square and x. 2 square and 2, 3 square and 3, 5 square and 5, 5 square and greater. But 1 by 2 whole square and 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is greater. Number greater than 1, this will be greater. Number less than 1, this will be, x will be greater. I am saying less than 1, I am talking about 0 to 1. And when it is negative, x square is always positive, x is always negative. So, I am going to break this into 3 parts. 1 to infinity, 0 to 1, minus infinity to 0. Here, this is max, this is min. Here, this is the minimum, this is the maximum. Here, this is higher, this is minimum. Brilliant. Of course, I need to worry about the turning points when it is equal to 1 and 0. When it is 1, this goes to 0. When it is 0, it goes to 0. x square equal to x at 1, x square equal to x at 0, both cases it is 0. So, my function, I'm going to redefine this from f of x. I'm calling this as 1 to infinity. There will be x square minus x. 0 to 1 will be x minus x square. 1 to infinity will be again x square minus x. Sorry. Minus infinity to 0, it will again be x square minus x. Brilliant. So let me see if I can draw this diagram. Nice. So I'm going to say, do I have enough space? I don't have enough space. I'm going to go to the next slide. So x square 1 to infinity is x square minus x. So x square minus x is like a parabola. Right? So x square minus x, I can imagine it as x minus half the whole square minus 1 by 4. Okay. At half, it will bottom out. The whole thing I am talking about is more than 1. x square minus x is at 0. It will be a curve like this. Nice. x minus x square will be in between. It will be a reverse curve. It will be 0 here. A curve like this x square minus x. We're talking about a curve like this, 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 and this. Right? Uh, will it be a continuous function? Yes, continuous at 0. f of x is 0, whether you come from this side or this side or, or, or at 0. This side, this side, this side, or at it's, it's nicely, wonderfully at, it's a continuous curve. Right? But it's a curve like this. Except at these points, it's probably not smooth. It comes and stops, loops, takes away. And so it comes and stops here, loops like this, and takes away. This is this curve will go like this. Or this curve will go like this. Fine. So the x minus x square is going to be like this. X square minus x is going to be like this. So my gut feel is that it's a continuous function. It goes nicely throughout. It's differentiable here, it's differentiable here, it's differentiable here. My differentiability is at question only at 0 and 1. Cut feel is not differentiable at either place. Let me see if some choice comes out like that. Uh, it's differentiable everywhere except x equal to 0. Everywhere except x equal to 0 and minus 1. Not minus 1, it's fine. Everywhere except x equal to 0 and 1. This is what I'll go for. Hopefully, that is also right. Hush.